This is what the login screen looks like with a typical WordPress installation. When my client logs in as an editor, this is what they see on the dashboard. I'm going to show you how easy it is to rebrand and customise the dashboard and login screen, as well as remove some menus from the sidebar with our white label CMS plugin. Now I'm logged in as the admin, I can go to the plugins module and activate the white label CMS plugin. And then from the settings module, I can choose white label CMS. Under the customization tab, I can choose which modules to show on the dashboard. I'm going to show the right now module, so I choose no here. However, I am going to hide my other dashboard panels, and I'm also going to hide the nag update, which confuses my client about updating WordPress. My custom header logo, which is my client's logo, in this case is called custom header, and it's a PNG. This custom header logo has been uploaded into the images folder for the active theme. And it's 130 pixels wide, so I'm going to put 130 px in this field here. If I leave this blank, the plugin will assume that my logo is 32 pixels wide. My custom footer logo, which is my own logo, is called custom footer and is also a PNG. My custom footer logo has also been uploaded into the images folder for the active theme. And it is 32 pixels wide, so I'm going to leave this field blank. The developer website URL is a link to my own website and the developer website name is the name of my company. The custom login logo, in this case, is called custom login and is a PNG. And this custom login logo also needs to be uploaded into the images folder for the active theme. And the background color of the login box, I want to stay white. I'm also gonna add my own welcome panel to the dashboard. I choose yes here, and I'm going to leave the title that the plugin suggests, Welcome to a New Website. And the content of this welcome panel is some markup that I prepared earlier. It's a simple welcome message with some links to the video tutorials and the written user menu that we've provided for the client. Finally, I'm going to remove some menus from the sidebar. I can choose the kind of content management system that my client's using WordPress for. If I choose Website, the plugin will suggest to hide the posts menu, the links menu, the comments menu, the tools menu, as well as the second separator between the menus. If I choose blog, it'll just hide the links and the tools menu, as well as that second separator. In this case, I'm going to choose website because I know that this client's not using any of the blogging features in WordPress. That's something I'm going to upsell them in the future. When I'm happy with my settings, I'm going to click on save changes and the white label CMS plugin will transform WordPress into a simple rebranded content management system. I have my client's logo on the header. In the footer, I have my logo with my company name and a link to my URL. And if I log out, I can see the login screen now has my client's logo. When my client logs in as an editor, they have a simple dashboard with no unnecessary modules, no nag update telling them to update WordPress, a welcome message here that I've written for them with a link to the video tutorials and the written users manual and only the menus that they need. That's how easy it is to hand over a rebranded, customised version of WordPress for your client to use as a content management system. So download your free copy of our white label CMS plugin now.